Moment for deliveries. Oh, I'm sorry, Katie. <laughs> I just smacked Katie's head against the side of the pulpit. Are you okay? Oh, she's looking at me. Well, good morning to you both. And a blessed Easter to you. He is risen. He is risen indeed. I want to talk a little bit about gardening. You've never seen these before, have you? Hold them up a little bit. There it's my Martin and Katie Luther bobbleheads. <laughs> we bought these when we were in Wittenberg, Germany, back in 2017, the year we celebrated the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. I let them help me. Okay, hold on. I let them help me with the shortened message on Sunday morning. I won't say the, the children's message because Nelson, that would make you the youth group. <laughs> so I'm going to put these two down for a minute and talk to them about gardening. Because I like to garden. And I was noticing when I was in Lowe's that they had bulbs for sale. And I thought, this is great. I can plant these bulbs, and later on I'll get tulips or something like that. So I, Martin, I, I took bulbs and I planted them. <laughs> and nothing happened. There were no tulips. There wasn't even a nightlight. These bulbs just laid there in the dirt and did nothing. Some people thought that's what happened to Jesus. That he was put into the ground, and I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, that's all, folks. Nope. It's all over. <laughs> the disciples felt that way, hiding in that upper room for fear of the Jews. The women felt that way. I'm sure Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, the two men responsible for burying Jesus, felt that way. Now, we've all gone to cemeteries in the past. I have my father's ashes in an urn at home. We like to remember those who have died. And it's on days like today, holidays, when we think about this and wish, oh, if only we could be with that person again. But then we've got the Easter story which tells us definitively that death is not the end. Amen. Just like the bulbs that are planted in the ground, the non-electrical ones, <laughs> will sprout and produce a bloom. We too will rise again. On Good Friday, we heard Jesus say to the thief on the cross, today, you will be with me in paradise. And I know that just a few days ago, Jesus' remark was, read, you are with me today in paradise. Amen. Christians can be sad for those we've lost, but we can rejoice for what we have achieved, for eternal life has been gifted to us because of what Jesus did. So, Mark, Katie, thank you for sharing this with me this morning. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I don't go three hours like you did. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for us. We are happy that you rose from the dead. Help us to share that good news with others. Amen. Amen. My favorite part is.